I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about how it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories Oh-oh Hey y'all, welcome back Or welcome if you're new So this is the first episode Of my We Wish You a Merry Christmas series I really hope you guys enjoy this series And it will go um, All the way up until The uh, Christmas Holiday Um probably passed it just a little bit uh, to be honest but um so in this episode we're going to decorate the living room and get the christmas tree up we're starting out in the kitchen this is the day before we put the tree up and i'm bringing you guys along uh as i do the dishes and i also have a new recipe that i'm going to try um i don't follow the recipe exact though which we will get to when we get to the recipe so um, I hope you guys enjoy, and yeah, let's just get to it. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, oh, da 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 oh, 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 these are the good times with you Don't even care what we do If I spend it with you Okay, so I had to hop on here and tell you guys something. Um, my blender, you guys seen me rinsing it out and putting it back together at the beginning of the video. Well, that blender went from rarely ever getting used to being used every morning. So, I started feeling a little sluggish even though I drink like a ton of water through the day and I eat healthy and, you know, such. But... I started feeling sluggish and so I started doing some research and I have started drinking a green smoothie every morning and um, my base is um, between spinach or kale and um, then I, I just go from there and it's packed with um, fruits and um, either oat milk or a nut milk and then I also use um, lettuce occasionally in it and um, I alternate between um, chia seeds and flax seeds and I'll tell you you guys I didn't have uh, my smoothie one morning uh, since I've started 
and I've been drinking the smoothie for almost two weeks now um, every morning and the one morning that I did not drink the smoothie I really felt it I really did um, so yeah the the smoothie is going great and I will keep you guys up to date on it um, okay so here we're starting out with this recipe and you guys will see me refer back and forth to my phone this is because um, this is where my recipe is at <laughs> um, so I start out with laying the bacon on the baking sheet and then I bake it till it's crispy and on the cutting board there is uh, two slices of tomato which will get cut um, again to fit um, four I don't know what we almost sandwiches you guys will see what I'm talking about um, and then I have uh, arugula and then it uh, fried eggs and there's also a smoked cheddar cheese sauce that will get made so um, I'll leave the recipe that I used since it will not be copyright infringement <laughs> uh, because I didn't follow the recipe all the way I just referred back and forth to it so I will um, if I don't forget try to leave the recipe um, in the description for you guys um, if you guys want to give this a try but this turned out to be so delicious you guys so delicious and um, you'll see what I meant by half sandwiches <laughs> Okay, so here I'm making the cheese sauce, and all it is is flour, butter, milk, and smoked cheddar cheese, and um, it's just whisked all together until it's cream and smoothie. Um, cream and smoothie. Listen to me, creamy and smooth. I'll get this in a minute, you guys. And then um, you guys see what I meant by the half sandwiches there, or almost sandwiches. It just doesn't have a top piece of toast. It has the bottom piece of toast with the cheese sauce over it. And then, um, also on that cutting board was um, avocado, which also got sliced in between these four almost sandwiches. Um, so I have my tomato, my avocado, and then a thin layer of uh, the crispy bacon, and then it's topped off by a fried egg. Um, and then on top of that is whatever is left of the cheese sauce. And then once that's done, it goes in the oven on 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes and like I said you guys this recipe is absolutely just it was so good it was so good everybody loved it the whole family loved it. my kids absolutely loved it I highly recommend you guys try it but like I said if I don't forget I'll leave the recipe down below for you guys
now in the living room. This is the next day, and this is what we're working with. This is the start of it. I did go ahead and get the tree up and get it fluffed, and I went ahead and got the mantle cleared off um, besides the um, candle holders up there. So this is a new Christmas uh, tree uh, scented candle that I'm going to light just to get myself in the spirit of the holiday. And we're going to get to work by starting out with the Christmas tree. We're going to get the lights on it, get the, uh, the ornaments on it, and uh, then we're going to move to the mantle and the fireplace. And um, yeah, everything turns out looking so beautiful. So here we go. So the kids were in here playing on the Xbox and uh, Dominic started to uh, get a little fussy and act like he was tired. So I got him in his rocker and set him up um, watching uh, Baby Shark, of course, and um, it was like he got a second wind or something, I'm not sure, but um, he got back up and started playing for a little bit, you guys will see there. Um, that's not the reason that I hopped on here, though. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me how the potty training was going with Jackson. And um, as you guys can see, he's got his shorts on and not a diaper because he has his underwear on. He is doing really well, you guys. And I want to say thank all of you all so much for your tips. Um, I did uh, try them out. Some of them didn't work. Uh, a lot of them did, though. And all of them kind of put together has really... Um, helped me to help him with the potty training so um the only time that he wears a diaper is at bedtime and as soon as he gets up he's in underwear until it's bedtime so thanks you guys i really do appreciate all of the the tips and stuff but yeah the potty training's going really great really Perfect for this week 
Child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Ooh. Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya yeah, I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and joy. so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you, with you. With I don't you. need any presents As long as I spend this day with you
on the mantle, I didn't really incorporate a whole lot of color um, like what is on the tree. I wanted a limited color, just little pops here and there. I wanted more of a frosted look um, because it kind of, like, I don't know, um, a good analogy, I guess, would be like icing on a cake. Um, because the Christmas tree is so vibrant and, you know, just so full of color, I didn't want to overwhelm everything with um, too much color, if that makes sense. So, I wanted, like I said, a more frosted look. And so, that's why I put the uh, frosted lamb ear back up here with the frosted pine cones. And, um... I think it really, really turned out great, and I think it really goes really well with the tree, um, where it's so vibrant and red. Um, also, the wall sconces with the uh, hydrangeas in it, those will get changed out just as soon as my poinsettias uh, arrive. I have ordered them, um, so those will get changed out, and that'll, you know, be that little bit more pop of color. I think to kind of tie everything in. Of course, I will bring you guys along with me whenever I do get those uh, picks in. And um, I will, of course, want your guys' uh, opinion on what it looks like and what you all think. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the pieces, ears, that I'm going to use. My nutcracker uh, that I place under the tree right here. I just got him last year. This is my first ever nutcracker and I absolutely love the little guy. And this bear that I'm kind of having an issue finding a spot for, um, he says 2017 on his um, uh, little foot. Um, that is actually Jax's very first uh, Christmas bear and so I always try to incorporate that in my decor um, ever since um, we got it for his first Christmas and then you guys are going to see um, our elf on the shelf and we've had this uh, little guy for a few years now and um, his name is actually uh, Twinkle the elf and um, I usually try to move him around for the kids after they go to sleep. Um, I hope they don't hear this. And um, then about five days um, before Christmas, we do uh, five days till Christmas with uh, Twinkle. And I take photographs. Um, we started this last year. I will show them to you guys um, in the next video if I don't forget. Um, but it's just um, when we wake up, uh, wherever he has moved around to, we snap a pic and then I print it out. Um, with his name and the day um, and everything. So, yeah, they, they really find that fun. So, <laughs> I would just want to tell you guys a few things about those. All right. Now this Christmas, we're going to dance. We're going to okay. dance, 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 Come on. dance, dance. We're going to dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. We're going to dance, dance, dance. All night long, we're going to dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. So you guys are going to see Jackson run through here in his diaper really quick. Um, it's bedtime and that's why he's in a diaper right here. I just wanted to point that out to you guys because 
I just was telling you guys how he was doing so well with potty training. I didn't want you guys to think that I was going back on that or anything. On this cold December day we are on our merry way Riding along So, because there are uh, tree needles I'm guessing that's what they're called off of a fake Christmas tree um, all over the place the floor doesn't need to be mopped it really just needs to be vacuumed um, there's glitter everywhere too so I'm getting the vacuuming done I'm not going to mop um, and then the living room is finished except for the wall sconces like I said I really hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you all got motivated to get your Christmas decor out and up and um, I just I really hope you guys enjoyed the video um, let me know what you guys think about the decorations um, and how you guys think everything looks just leave me a comment and uh, so I think that's got it till next time. Love you all. Stay safe. December day On this cold December day